This is Damon Stevens, Fiddle with the Builders, and today is Sunday, October 17th, 2021. And this is our prep for the week. I uh, hope you're looking for a great week here, um, as we are. Uh, we got earnings this week, and a lot better than last week. Uh, we also have a lot of hot stocks that are on the rise here as the market continues to uh, to go up. So if we're back recovering back towards the, the highs again, uh, you know, let's take a look and see what's going on and uh, see what we can get out of this week. Let's get right into it. Uh, just recapping last week a little bit, you see the Dow Jones closed up uh, over a percent. NASDAQ up a half a percent and uh, S&P 500 up three quarters of a percent. So really, uh, really good uh, move there. Uh, FANG stocks were healthy. Amazon, Tesla just really rocked it. We'll talk about that a little bit later with the charts. Uh, and you can see overall heat map across the, uh, the world it's pretty green, so uh, so it looks like the whole world was having a great, great Friday. As we're heading into this week too, we're looking at uh, China here. Looks like they're um, you know a little bit mixed, but as far as the major stocks, it looks like they're green. So looking to see if we can get a we're going to have another update on Monday, and uh, continue to go up. A little concerned, you know, if you have uh, several green days in a row, or you have big moves, sometimes you can have a little bit of a pullback. Uh, so looking for that retracement sometimes, but you know, as we get the charts, we'll talk about the individual stocks and what we see uh, coming forward. But you know, just be safe out there. Uh, watch your size. Uh, you know, we are kind of right in the middle of the highs and the lows, so just uh, be careful out there. But let's get right into some of these stocks. As far as on the scanner, uh, there's several of them that hit. Um, I did not trade all of them. Uh, just there's just too many, and I really focused on the ones that were a little bit larger. A dollar value. So JSPR was one of those. Um, I didn't get the other two. Um, the uh, NX at TD was another one. Um, HX, as you can see here, there's a little bit of jump around here, but uh, didn't, didn't have a chance to get them all. But those were the, the few that focused on. Um, There's a, a lot of opportunity. So um, but so hopefully you're able to, to watch the scanner, grab some of these and uh, profit from them. So JSPR, you know, one thing that was nice about it is it just it just skyrocketed from, from the get-go. So I mean, the low down here is around 1250 and 1840 was the high. Um, but what's nice uh, about JSPR, it did back off, you know, you had this retracement, you know, almost over half of it, down to about 1415 here, as you can see right on this 20. Um, and then it gave you a nice rocket ride at the end of the day. So I love it when it does that. Uh, just that way, you know, if you do miss it, as long as you keep a chart up here on these scan stocks, you can uh, get another chance at them. So uh, JSPR did that for us. So even if you missed the first round, you got a second round on it. Um, HX. AHX, um, the low here was around 420, high of 589, not a big runner, but enough to grab some of it here. Even if you missed any of this, you know, from the get-go, I mean, it was just a nice gradual climb and everything stayed above the 20. So, I mean, if you got a hold of this in the morning, even at the open or even here as it hit the scanner, you had this nice long run for the whole day. So I'm going to look for a continuation of this. Uh, same with JSPR. These are on my short list on Monday uh, for breakouts, continued breakouts, but HX just continue to climb. I like it when it does that. That gives you a good chance to get in and usually a, a lot easier chance of taking profits and getting out if it does start to turn. Uh, NXTD was a wild ride. Don't know if it's going to give us anything more this week, um, but it did, um, you know, the low here was, you know, 33 cents and the high of 64 cents. So, uh, you know, pretty much doubled. Um, you know, it had a few dips here. Didn't I, I scalped this a little bit, but it just uh, it just was not that interesting to me. So I didn't do a whole lot with it. <clears throat> but you see, you had a couple dips here. I'm down to 20, down to 52 cents, back up to 61 cents, <clears throat> back down to 49 cents, and back up to 56, and then just kind of dropped off the end day, which is usually what you see. So just be real careful in these small caps because a lot of these hit the scanner because that's exactly what they do. They give you maybe run or one or two runs at the end of the day. And then the rest half of the day, it just kind of falls off to nothing. And a lot of times we don't ever see them again. Um, if they're over, able to maintain that 20 moving average though, it's a little bit of a training just by the way. Um, if, if it can hold the 20 or even the 50, 
you're good. But if it drops below that, or even like I said, but you know, in all the night videos, if it drops below the 200, it's pretty much off the list. So just uh, use that as your stop losses. Um, I don't, you can use uh, any stop loss you want, but the 200 is really mine for when I take these off. My Tesla just rocketed. This, we had this uh, huge pullback consolidation for a long time. Then you can see here, we just continue to rock right up. And so we uh, were at, headed up towards the highs here around 900. Uh, so 842, we talked about 820, then 840. Now we've got 860, 880. So you know we're, we'll see if we get to new all-time highs, but uh, Tesla has just been killing it. So we have our new map out here. We're right right at that 840 level. Make sure we just stay over that on Mon Monday. If we can stay below, above 840, we should be able to start to, to climb towards 860, as long as the rest of the market's keeping up with us as well. Amazon, Amazon had a huge pullback, found support here on our, our trend line, and, uh, and then it just skyrocketed. Uh, so hopefully you got a piece of that on Friday. I know some people just killed it. They got the almost the whole measurement here because they were in earlier. So uh, way to go. Uh, you know, as soon as it breaks that 200, uh, that's your that's your signal that this is possibly going to break out. And you can see that here in the past, this is what you kind of use with chart. This is a little bit of trading for those who may be new. But the charts here, this is where they're helpful. Can you see that uh, Amazon broke the 200 here, found the 200 here, broke up to new highs, came down, tested almost the 200, the 50, the 200, just below the 200. So, and then we dropped way below 200. So I thought, okay, well, great. You know, are we gonna lose it here? But we, you can see that it was just one day and that pulled right back up onto our trend line here. And so that trend line will continue into the future. Uh, so as long as we can keep that and move back above it, uh, then there's your bullish momentum. And you can see that uh, Amazon continues to, to maintain that trend line and continues to move up. So loving that. Um, so we're looking for, you know, either a retracement possibly back to the 50 and the 100 around uh, 3363 on Monday. But if we can stay above this 3400, I can see it to continue going up towards this next resistance level. So um, those that got that, uh, congratulations. Earnings week, I told you this uh, last week, I wasn't really impressed. Was watch on Thursday wasn't really impressed much with what I saw on the earnings, um, but the earnings get more interesting as we go. And you'll see this week um, that I'm really excited about it. I think there's a huge opportunity this week. Uh, so all these areas in yellow, those are my areas of focus. I'm looking at banks on Monday, see you know how the financial market's doing. That's going to help us uh, you know figure out where you know where where we're headed as far as from a financial standpoint and what the view is of the world around our finance areas. Got a huge Netflix here, PG, Tesla, uh, Las Vegas Sands, IBM, Intel. So a lot of tech, a lot of um, finance, a lot of the uh, banks and, and uh, travel. Uh, so we should start to get a really good picture here. Uh, Chipotle, Sam Adams are, are ones I'm interested in, definitely. Uh, Honeywell, American Express. So you can see kind of mapped out what I'm looking at. Uh, there's a lot to choose from. Um, but looking for really, you know, something uh, pre-market. So these days uh, where I have them marked out before open, I'm usually up early in the morning before, way before the market opens up, looking at the pre-market action to see where they're headed. And one of the things to keep in mind in earnings is a lot of times people uh, pump stocks up before earnings and then dump them afterwards. Um, or uh, if the earnings are really good, uh, you see new, new highs. Um, but just be careful out there. I see there's, it's easy to get shut out on some of these uh, and trading after hours, you have to really know your levels uh, to trade them. But uh, I love trading after hour um, stocks like this, like Netflix and Tesla, Sands, all these that are after hours. I, I like it a lot better than the pre-market um, just because the volatility uh, after market is just crazy. Um, so just be careful if you're trying that out. If you're doing it, use small sizes. Um, that way you kind of get used to what, what's going on and just make sure you look at where the highest highs are, lowest lows, and leave yourself some room on both sides. And that's where if you get in this, into like straddles, if you're doing options, uh, straddles is a big, huge uh, strategy around earnings. But enough about earnings. Let's get to some of these charts again. Uh, uh, Carvana, 
And we see that we have this big pullback here um, right on the 200, just below it. We see this little the curl up here. Um, I came across this one. I'm like, I wonder if this will curl up. It's either going to curl up and then come back down and fail the 200, and maybe come down to our, our um, trend line here. So if this line right here, you see, but we held it here. Could come down here to this 260 and try this out. But uh, this curl here gives me an idea that maybe get back above the 200. There might be a play here, even if it's a short-term play. So looking at Carvana in the morning as well. Um, Apple, you know, continues. It's right, right at the 50. If we can keep above the 50 here, if we can break the 145 level, I think we're on a 150 at least. Um, so looking for continuation play there. If it doesn't, if it breaks back, it doesn't break above the 150, then we could be retracing back a little bit. Uh, so we have our support lines out here. So just watch that, um, you know, for, you know, a direction based on whether we break out of it or not. Uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA broke up here, came off of the 100s, broke above the 50. Sit right to resistance. It's got to get above 219 to break out, you know, further north. Uh, if not, it'll, sit to, it'll probably be sitting in this channel a little bit. So looking for a breakout above 219. Uh, on Moderna, uh, we're in, we tried to get back into this channel here. We broke through a, um, this resistance level and then it came right back below it uh, and ended the day right below it. So that's a little bit of weakness. So we're going to see what that does um, as far as. Um, In regards to Moderna, you can see that Moderna is curling up here it found support and curling up here. So we're looking at uh, Moderna to uh, attempt to break through uh, the uh, resistance areas up here on the 20 and the 50. Uh, you can see here that uh, there's a, a gap to be filled up here as well. And so we're looking for Moderna to break through that resistance and to continue back up going towards highs here. So will it... Uh, Back off of there, it's possible. It's going to be take a little bit for it to break through this uh, this gap and the resistance here, this 359.35. So we're looking at a continuation move uh, in the positive direction here on Moderna uh, after its pullback. Uh, looking at NBAX, which is kind of in that same category, and see that it found support as well. It's tried to curl back up here, but here's the thing, you know, that makes me concerned about uh, Moderna not being able to possibly pull through there is NBAX. Try to hit resistance, hit the resistance level, and came back down and closed back down towards the lows here. So uh, we'll see if uh, if uh, Novavax can sit here and uh, just consolidate here and get pressure to go back up, or is it going to be a failure and it's going to come down? If it breaks this uh, 154 level, it's going to probably come down a little bit lower to 142. So uh, just something to be aware of. You got this big breakup candle here, and uh, we've retraced half of that here. So. If we break this resistance uh, support level down here, we could fall back down to the full length of that candle. So just something to be aware of on NVAX, but looking to see what it can do, but it's not on my uh, priority list, but uh, definitely something that's on my charting every day. Uh, the dollar, dollar sitting here consolidating here, still showing a little bit of weakness in that area. Uh, it's great for the market though, uh, for it to be weak. Uh, you can see here that uh, the VIX, continues to come down. Uh, it's down here at this support level that we had uh, marked out here before. You see here that we hit it uh, uh, back here in September, you know, hit here in August, back here in J June, July area. Uh, we had quite a bit of uh, opportunities down here where it's hit support. So do we break that again? Do we come back down to this trend line, which you can see it did here back in August? Or do we find a, a, a support here and it bounce off or is it going to break through? So not sure where it's going to go, but as long as it continues to show weakness here, the uh, market should continue to rally. And you can see here our trend line going down, and you see that it's curling down uh, in a southern direction. So uh, the, showing a weak fix is definitely good for the SPY. See here with the SPY, a nice gap up. I didn't mark this out yet. Let me just put that on the chart so that you can see it, give you a little bit more uh, of a visual on this gap fill that we have here. And we'll have to fill in, you know, do we fill this week, you know, possibly with, uh, you know, with a weekday or what have you, um, that'll be, you know, for us to find out. But uh, there's a slight gap here to fill, but the momentum is still up on the upside going towards this uh, high and the resistance here at uh, 452.60. Uh, 
Uh, there's most likely going to be some areas where it's going to probably find resistance. One of them is like what, right where you see it right sitting right now. If I, do, if I put a line here, you can see here that we had resistance here. We had it here. We had support here. And just, just uh, resistance about here. And then we're right there now again. So, you know, can it bust through here and continue towards a high? It most definitely can if the VIX continues to show weakness and the market continues to rally. So we'll see, look at, let's look at the triple Qs. Triple Qs is at resistance as well, trying to break through this level here at 369. If it breaks 369, we're headed back up a little bit further. We've got another resistance level at 373. So we've got to see if we can do that um, and see if we can keep this uh, bullish momentum going up. Semiconductors, again, kind of flat for the day on Friday, but still very uh, you know bullish momentum here. If you look at the IWM, we had this uh, little channel that we'd created uh, several days ago see that we were consolidating. We broke through that consolidation um, and we rested here and we hit uh, 227 and then we pulled back at the end of the day back into the zone. So is this a fake out? This might be a fake breakout here, which happens you know frequently where you got a fake breakout. Sometimes it'll fake breakout and then drop down here and go actually to lows. Um, but uh, you know we'll we'll watch this and see. Uh, if it can get support, it might just need a little more, more minimum. Obviously, it didn't have enough. So we have some resistance up here. It's got to get through. Uh, right now, we're back in this uh, this shape here, so uh, this wedge. So we'll see uh, what direction it decides to go on, and then we can trade that. Uh, in the financials, we broke out of this wedge, went up, broke out. You can see that we broke out, failed. So maybe this is what IWM what it might do. Pull back in. This came down, touched the bottom of this, though, and then it bounced back up and then back out again. Uh, and now it's showing some strength. Uh, but it looks like it's sitting here at resistance at uh, 3950 area. And put a line up here just so that you can um, have a visual here. And you can see here, we got to break through that if we want to go, you know, to, uh, to new highs here. But uh, we do have a gap down here to fill. So that's a possibility they could pull back this week, fill that gap. But right now it's looking very bullish. A uh, silver, uh, let me move gold over because we usually do gold, gold first. Uh, so gold, you see gold had this nice rally up, try to break through the uh, the 200 moving average and also this trend line we have here, you know, downward trend line. And it filled and it pulled back all the way back down underneath this last support area. So now it's resistance. So, you know, uh, 1766 is an area where we consolidated for quite a bit, several times. So, you know, can we find the energy to go back up and break through this? Uh, you know, it'll be seen, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, we're back in this channel. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, gold, you know, found a little weakness. Same with silver. Silver tried to break through that 50. Thought we we're going to hold that 50, but we broke back down again. So not real strong on gold or silver right now. Bitcoin blew through all our levels. We talked about this last several days. Um, when we're starting back here, um, and you can see here just a nice long climb. Uh, we climbed up to you know, almost almost 63, uh, and then we pulled back here. Uh, 60 was kind of 60,000 kind of was my goal and area. I blew through that a little bit. Um, that's fine. Uh, I, I have just a very very small piece on, and uh, I'll leave it on uh, and just kind of let it ride at this point, unless it just starts to crash, which I doubt uh, it'll do. We got a nice support line here now sitting around 50,000. So that's the minimum, you know, the maximum we, I think this could drop. I mean, obviously it could drop further, but I think we have good support here. We have a good support level here, really at the 50, 55 level here. You'd see here we consolidated. We also consolidated up here at 57. So we got these nice little levels, and these levels really help. You know, if the markets, if the uh, if Bitcoin started to drop, at least at a minimum, these levels help you understand where you can get out if it falls further. Uh, so it gives you a little bit of an out opportunity. But this long candle here doesn't. We retrace a little bit of that, pop back up here. Are we going to sit flat? Hard to say, um, but we're going to have to get some momentum to go higher. We actually hit all-time highs. So sometimes it consolidates or it'll come back and retrace a little bit uh, and then find the momentum to continue going. So what big, what's Bitcoin going to do? Not sure, but uh, we have ETFs uh, for Bitcoin that were approved. So it's going to change this whole world now of crypto. So this could rally up, like they said, to 75,000 or more, um, unless the uh, whales decide they want to cash out a little bit and take some profits. Um, but yeah, we should see some you know, lo good long-term growth uh, with the changes they're making in 
cryptocurrencies. Uh, if you look at Ethereum, this was the old highs. You can see that we had highs over here. Uh, we hit that resistance line here, this upward trend line, and it bounced off of it, came down to the lower trend line, bounced off of that, came back up. And we're sitting here right under this resistance. So we have a 39.86, bounced back down. We're at the support level now. So we're kind of chopping right here. We did it before. It failed last time. Does it fail this time? Good question. Not quite sure, but watching these levels for sure. Um, I am actually out of Ethereum right now. Um, you know, I thought about holding a piece or maybe getting back in. I kind of want to see what it does here now that we're kind of double topped. I want, I'd want to see it break out over this 39.86 to get back in. If it does, I'll, I'll get jump back in and ride this up to new highs. I, I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, but right now, I just want to see what it does with this consolidation. So that's just my that's my area of what I'm doing. SHIB, um, I told you I got out of this at around 29,000. This is a little bit higher than that, but you know, up here and just, just you know waiting to see what I knew it was going to have a pullback here. It did retrace a little bit. Uh, we're making like, almost like a little wedge here um, pattern. So the SHIB break down lower to the support level here at 2298 area, or does it go back up to you know this 30,055 30, level? So, uh, or this 3055, sorry. But just wanting to see where this goes. And you can see we're right smack dab in the middle. I need to see it break up or I need to see it break down for a short. So I'm just waiting to see what it does here as it consolidates because it could take, be there a long time. So that's what I'm watching for Monday. Got lots to, to watch, lots of momentum going on right now. Things are looking positive. I'm watching the pre open market to the pre market here to see what it does and, and see what momentum is carrying us forth to kind of make decisions on what we trade. Also, watching the scanner. Uh, hopefully, we continuation on the ones that we scanned last week and, and uh, had success on, and we have some continuation on a couple of those. Others are going to probably fall off here that we talked about because they just they lost their momentum on Friday. But uh, other than that, we have lots of opportunities out there. So just be safe out there. If you're uh, scared about being in the market right now, uh, just you know stay on the sidelines or paper trade. So you just practice. You know we we talk about that several times. Just paper trade, and uh, that way you're safe and you're practicing your trading skills so that you can gain the confidence so that you can get in and uh, make the money. So. Uh, everybody uh, continue to subscribe, you know, provide us feedback and uh, have a great, uh, great Monday. And, uh, you know, we'll be watching these earnings. I'm excited. This week is uh, I'm more excited about the earnings this week than I have for a while. So, um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, we'll talk more tomorrow night.